you guys, it's Teresa and welcome back to my channel. I switched around my schedule so now it's just twice a week instead of having specified days in case something goes wrong. But, not gonna lie, if I did end up wearing something black and had like a full on like I make, like I look today, and like had like a nice bright red necklace, 10 out of 10, I would be Amryn from the Ako, from the Akotar books and I am not complaining about that because I love my tiny ancient one. But today we're going to be talking about my January TBR and today is going to be one of my very few reread months of 2019, mainly because I do like to do these guys so I am, um, I can like take a breather from like buying books and jumping into different like series or different like worlds every week, so every week, every month. So today, this month is going to be one of those months and I might do like a reading diaries for it or I might just do like a book of the week for all the books that I read, but that's kind of out thing right now because I finished a book like the other day so but it's fine but let's just get into it before I talk more about the things that I shouldn't be doing. So the first book that I'm going to reread is actually part of a series and that is the Akatar series or the A Court of Thorn and Roses series by Sarah J Mass. I will not be rereading A Court of Frost and Starlight as I did just literally finish the book last month but I will be I did finish um, A Court of Thorn and Roses yesterday but I just started um a Court of Mist and Fury, and let me just say, I forgot how much I love Recent, but I am waiting to see to re-meet Cassian and the um, other characters. And then finally, it is uh, A Court of F Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Mass, which is a thrilling conclusion to these books, and my arms are hurting, so. But if you don't know, this series follows 19-year-old Feyre as she kills a wolf and it turns out to be a fairy and she must kind of pay back with her life and that part of her life ends up her having to go to the fairylands of Prithian to live with Tamlin, who is the to, who is a fairy of the Spring Court. It's a great love story. It's very heartbreaking. I just have so many feelings already. Like, can I play Amrin when the movies come out? Who's... Ooh. I just need a moment. It's just one of these books, like, every time I read about Recent on the page and, like, Feyre's, like, contempt towards him for very correct reasons, I just kind of sit there and go, but, but, he's just so great. And he, but, I'm not going to get into it. The next set of books I will be rereading in January is actually two poetry collections. I do want to get into more poetry in general, and I did start doing that last year but I didn't do it so well that I'm content with what I did so here is kind of me springboarding into this idea of um, reading more poetry by rereading poetry that I already own to get in the mood to buy more poetry and be less like not picky per se but be more open to different kinds of poetry and that is Milk and Honey and The Sun and Her Flowers by Rupi Kapoor Kaur. I always want to add a P and I don't know why, but these are um, poetry collections. I've read them already and I love them so much and it's essentially kind of like the um, the journey of healing through trauma and all of the things that I think sometimes you just need to read about repeatedly. So hopefully here's to hope. I, w I am going to love these books the same amount that I have before, so it's not much of a surprise. The next book that I'm going to be rereading in the month of January is one that actually holds a special place in both mine and my sister's hearts, and that is Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chomsky. I don't know why I just stuttered on that name. Well, this book is told through a Pistolarian novel to, um, from 15 or 14 year old Charlie who is kind of trying to find his way throughout the world and deal with the trauma that he has by writing to his mysterious friend. And I just rewatched the movie for the first time in a long while and I cried, so might as well make myself cry with the book. And the last book, but this is probably not going to be the last book that I'll be rereading, it's just the one, that, the last one that I have listed on my TBR, so I don't get ahead of myself and read more than I think I will, and then not read two books. I'm still salty, but I will get into that for my wrap-up. And that is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. And yes, yes, I do. I do really clearly want to cry in G January. January 2019 is pr apparently going to be the month that I just cry a lot. But this follows Achilles. It's a retelling. And it's one of my favorite books of all time. It follows a retelling of the myth Achilles, and it follows it through the um, through the eyes of Patroclus. 
Patroclus, 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 who is Achilles, um, Achilles's companion throughout kind of his lifetime. And clearly, I want to cry because this book already made me cry, and thinking about the book is making me tear. Okay, hi there. I'm okay. But that is it for my January TBR. Nothing too exciting, like I said. It's apparently the month I'm going to be crying a lot because a lot of these books have made me cry, and I don't know why I chose this set of books specifically. But I do plan on doing like a book of the week thing. I don't know if I'll do reading vlogs because I just... I get so uncomfortable doing them, I don't know why. I'll probably do like reading diaries, kind of in a similar fashion as my writing diaries that I'm going to rename so they're not no longer called vlogs because I don't take you guys around with me everywhere. But yeah, that is it for my TBR. And look out on Goodreads because I like I like went through a huge chunk. Literally only one of these books have a review on them, so Look out on Goodreads because I will be talking more about them there. And yeah, but until the next time I upload a video sometime this week, I'll talk to you guys in the comments and my social media links will be down below if you want to follow me on my bookstagram or any other or any other part of life. So yeah, until then, I'll talk to you guys somewhere else. Bye!